Inequalities are also in types. To make our work easy, we'll do examples following the types. So when I say example one, I mean type one, then there'll be varieties in each type. So question 1A, where the question always comes as solve. A, 2X plus one is greater than seven. Then they say solve, it's the easiest inequality. You take this number the other side and have 2X greater than seven minus one, and that is seven minus one. So that two X is greater than six, divide by two, divide by two, X is greater than three. This is the solution. If you want, you can say the solution set is three up to positive infinity, or you just leave it like that as X greater than, Three. So here, another one, negative three X plus four is less or equal to 14. This one, again, you take this number the other side, so that you have negative three X less or equal to 14 minus four. That is negative three X less or equal to 10 divide by negative three, divide by negative three. So X is greater or equal to negative 10 over three. The rule is that whenever you divide or multiply by a negative across the inequality, the inequality will change its direction. If you want, you can say the solution set here is negative 10 over three up to positive infinity. So I've changed now, this means include because you have greater or equal to. Still easy, no questions coming yet. Okay. Another one, X minus seven. Uh, wait. Uh, where Sir, is, I have a uh, question. Uh, where it's 10, I mean 14 minus uh, four, it will give us a, oh, oh it, uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Sir. Yes. Sir, sorry, I came in a bit late. I get the way you solved it, but I have a question on the solution set. Uh huh. Uh, how, how, why it's been written like that? No, you can actually leave it here. This is also a solution set. We're just giving another way of presenting it. If you want, since you are saying x is greater or equal to, so I can say. X lies in negative 10 over three order of cost infinity. If I want to give it as an interval. Sir. Hello. I said, can you say that your solution set is your range? As if you're told to state your range. <laughs> it's your domain. Oh, okay. Yes. Another example, this one over eight, uh, let me put, I can't put over eight, is less or equal to one. Now, because eight is a constant, even if it's sitting in the denominator there, I can, I can multiply, Every, everywhere by uh, 
Can you multiply everywhere by Namukali? These stocks are scribbling. Okay, so I can multiply throughout by by eight. So that we remain with X minus seven less or equal to eight. Because the eight down there will cancel the eight outside, then they want to multiply that eight outside. So this will become X less or equal to eight plus seven, which is X less or equal to 15. This is the solution, or if you want, you can say from negative infinity all the way up to 15 in that way. D, we can have two X minus three over negative eight, greater or equal to four. We want to solve this. So multiply throughout by negative eight and get two X minus three as the only thing remaining on the left. Because I'm multiplying by a negative number, the inequality will change and get negative H2 there. Take Sir, this three the other side, yes. Sorry, I came in late. Um, those two A and B, I understand. Now uh, the eight are uh, on C. So because the eight is in the denominator, we can multiply throughout by the eight. So that would mean X minus seven less or equal to eight. Okay, so thank you. So the same thing we are doing on D, except that for D, the, the eight down is negative. So it will affect the inequality as we multiply. So that we get two X less or equal to negative 32 plus three, giving us two X less or equal to negative 29 divided by two divided by two. So we have X less or equal to negative 29 over two as our solution or as an interval solution, up to negative 29 over two included. Okay, so this variety, yeah. Hello? I think I want to ask a question. Please ask. <coughs> no, sir, here, where the thing is telling you, when you, when you solve it through uh, the, uh, a denominator and the fraction, the, the thing, how is it changing? The sign. My, my, my sign is still constant, though yes, it's negative 29 over 2. But the sign is not changing. If you say 2x minus 3 over negative 8 minus 4 over 1, get equal to 0. That's your question, is it? Yes, sir. So we'll get negative 8 in the denominator and you get 2x minus 3 plus h2 greater or equal to 0. And then it will remain 2x plus 29 over negative 8 greater or equal to 0, which will be 2x over negative 8 minus 29 over eight, greater or equal to zero. Taking the other side, so now you have x over negative four 
greater or equal to negative positive 29 over 8. Is it? Then you multiply throughout by negative 4. Once you multiply throughout, you get x less or equal to negative 29 over 2. That's where the less or equal to come in. So, sir, is it that when you multiply with a negative to that equation, the way you're doing it, then the sign changes? Not the sign, but the inequality changes. Mm. The sign is plus or minus, is it? Yes. Yeah, so what will change is the greater or equal to it will become less or equal to. Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit lost. Which question are we solving? We're solving this one here. The inside. 2x minus 3 over negative 8 greater or equal to 4. Sir. Yes. Hello, sir. Hello. I wonder about if I cross multiply 2x over 3 over negative 8 equals to 4. So will the sign change immediately or what? Here we cross multiply, is it? Yeah, if I say 4 times negative 8. Which is oh, what we oh, did. The sign changes automatically as you move to the next step. Oh, OK, sir. I get yes. it. Mm -hmm. Sir. Hello. Sir, you put eight as the common denominator. Yes. And then, aren't you supposed to multiply that other thing with eight also? Mm -mm. Since eight will go there. Negative eight will go in negative eight. How many times? One. One times the thing on top. Yes. Which is two x minus three. And then okay. one in negative eight, negative eight, negative eight times negative four, positive 32. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Another type of questions under inequalities. So I have dealt with one type where if there is n denominator, it's a constant. So in fact, before we move to another type, let me give another example here. So this was up to D. I also put E where we have, E where we have say negative two plus X less, um, Okay, let me put a constant this side. Negative two less or equal to x plus four over negative three less than 10. We have a number negative three down there. So what we'll do is we'll multiply throughout by that number. Multiply everything by negative three. So get positive six this side. The inequality will change. Remain with x plus four there. The inequality will change, and this becomes negative 30. Take four the other side. So four will go this side. At the same time, it will go the other side. Is it? Lambda says the screen is blank. Is it still? No. no. Okay. 
So, no, sir. Okay, it's okay now, I think. So we take for the other side, we'll get six minus four or greater or equal to X, greater than negative 30 minus four, giving us two greater or equal to X, greater than negative 34. This is a complete solution. We can as well choose to write it in this form. Nothing has changed. You just said to write it in this order. Very correct in both forms. I now want to give the second example. So, so the solution you, said. So can you can be show it in an interval form. The solution said in an interval form, negative 34 all the way up to two closed. Sir, so could you please repeat on on the symbols for inequality, I'm not following how they've changed to face one side and then they face again the other side. Okay, so as you multiply by the negative, they change what was less or equal to becomes greater or equal to. What was less becomes greater. Then we take for the other side, we get that simplified to this form. Now this answer is very correct. I can choose to end here. But then it's also right. Sir. Hello? Sir, where has the denominator negative three gone? Where has it gone? It has been multiplied throughout. Explain again on how to multiply the fraction there on the middle, I didn't get. Look, you say negative two times negative three, you get six, mm -hmm. is it? And yes. this, this whole thing times negative three, this negative three will cancel that negative three. Okay, sir. Yes. So after you reach here, it's also correct and right to write this thing as starting with the negative, this same inequality here. It's opening towards X, so it will open towards X. And then it's opening towards two, it will open towards two. So we just reversed the order of our solution. So that we keep the, the solution in this one. If you get so confused on how to switch, then present your answer in this form. You can separate them, yes, and then bring them back to form the solution. There's a question that, can you separate the inequalities? You say negative two is less or equal to X plus four over negative three and x plus four over negative three is less than 10. Yes, you can do that. You cross multiply here again, you get six greater or equal to x plus four. Take for the other side, you get six minus four greater or equal to x, giving us two greater or equal to x. This is the same as x less or equal to two. And you cross multiply again here, you have X plus four greater than negative 30. This is X greater than negative 30 minus four. So X greater than negative 34, which is the same as negative 34 less than X. Now, because it was closed in this form, we are using and here and and 
so that our solution becomes the intersection uh, of, did you say the intersection? Yes, of the two. So you say negative 34 less than x, but this very x should be less or equal to two. Like that. This is what we have in interval form here. So, you know? so when you put them together, you always have to start with the smallest value. Yeah, you start the smallest value. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the, the the division and multiplication on, on of anything in an equality. Is, or, or can you say that the, the, the inequality sign always changes when you divide or multiply anything? When you divide or multiply a negative anything, yes. Or a negative anything. Yes. Okay. It must be negative. It must be negative for it to be affected. Otherwise, it won't because if you look at C, we are multiplying throughout by eight, but the inequality didn't change. Mm -hmm. It only changed on D when we made a negative. Okay. And that's continued changing when we met another negative here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So Let's I have a question. Yes. So on this one, we can't do the what we say. Uh, negative infinity all the way to negative three over four union that. Mm -mm. See that. <laughs> How do you have union when you only have one interval? We only have one piece. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, after you multiplied the three outside the brackets with everything inside, um, there where you were putting like them together, I don't know, how did four appear twice when we only have one positive four there on the middle? Explain for me. Twice in this sense. No, no, not there, on the left side. Mm -hmm. So I'm explaining now the left, uh, the left side. Having oh, two okay. inequalities, Having two inequalities means that I'm dealing with two different uh, inequalities in that sense. So mm -hmm. whatever I do to this inequality, I do to the other. Okay. So when you take for the other side, you also take it the other side. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Is it okay to cross multiply? Yes, we are cross multiplying here. It's okay only for a constant whose sign is known. So because we're just meaning 30 minutes before this session cuts for another uh, joining, uh, I think it would be okay if we saved this and then cut, then we join so that we do type two without disturbance. Since we have an hour, we have done 30, another 30 in the other session. So let's log out and quickly log back. 